People, people will always disappoint you. But you know what? The tech news won't. Ah, back in February, Elon Musk announced that Tesla would accept Bitcoin payments, but a lot can change in two months. Babies. You can have babies. The, the, start raining, lots. The crypto could destroy the environment in that time for all we know. So on Wednesday, Elon announced on Twitter that Tesla will not support Bitcoin transactions because of the cryptocurrency's reliance on fossil fuels. Crypto fans pointed out that, well, actually, 75% of miners use renewable energy, but other people pointed to reports that show that's primarily happening in remote areas of China with lots of available hydro and wind energy. But Tesla's announcement isn't the only thing troubling crypto heads. The world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, is now officially under investigation by the US Justice Department and the IRS in connection with a report last year that claimed Binance was laundering money for criminals. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> Does it? I don't like him. Oh, I'm not a crypto head like you, James. To be fair, Binance is incorporated in the Cayman Islands and nothing good happens there. That's fun in the sun. <laughs> except so many fun things. On the plus side, Dogecoin is up after Elon Musk tweeted about it once again. Can someone stop this man? Not from doing the cool stuff like Tesla, SpaceX. Yeah, keep, keep that up. Just to, Grimes, can you put an app timer on Twitter for him? No screen time, Elon. <laughs> Grimes watches the show, so that's how I... Apple and Epic continued slogging it out in the courtroom this week over Fortnite and in-app purchases on the iOS App Store, but Judge Yvonne Gonzalez Rogers suggested a potential compromise. What if Apple allowed developers to advertise lower prices outside the App Store, like on their website, for example? Which would be... Normal? Kind, Normal of, kind of dumb. <laughs> no, it's not. What are you talking about? Welcome to my market. You should go over there and buy it for cheaper there, though, at the other place. They can't even, like, hint that you can buy it somewhere else. This is a great example of the, the how complex the case is. To be fair, the judge is trying to wrap her head around this. It's a complicated issue. It's also apparently confusing for one of Apple's expert witnesses who brought a list of games to court that were supposedly available on iOS and PC that were definitely, definitely not that at all. And one more interesting thing from the trial this week, a number of companies, including Sony, Nintendo, and Roblox, are requesting that the court reseal documents that were made public as part of the trial, as they may contain confidential information about said company's inner workings. Oh, <laughs> no, don't look! Like the fact that Sony charged developers to enable crossplay on PlayStation. This is all interesting, but I can't wait until next week when the trial enters the physical combat portion. Cho choose your weapon. The, the pickaxe the from gal, Fortnite. The gal from the judge's stand. <laughs> the, the judge is in there. <laughs> All right, I've had enough. And uh-oh, I can see some new graphics cards coming real soon. They're just, oh, there's, they're coming around and the corner. Oh, oh. MSI posted references to the RTX 3080 Ti briefly before taking them down yesterday, and references to desktop RTX 3050 Ti cards were spotted in EEC filings as well. Then there's the spec leaks for AMD's Radeon RX 6600 and 6600 XT GPUs, which will reportedly both feature the Navi 23 GPU and 8GB of GDDR6 memory. References to a new AMD GPU, which is thought to be a budgetier Navi 24-based model, were also spotted under the code name Beige Gobi. Yep, sounds pretty budget. <laughs> what is that? Is it what, what is a Gobi? What? That's an Indian dish. That's, isn't that with an I? This is like G-O-B-Y. Of course, even if we did want to buy these, we probably won't be able to. But if there's one upside to the chip shortage, it's the increased funding now being poured into chip production. TSMC is considering building an additional foundry, in addition to the one they're already doing, in Arizona, perhaps to get some of the $52 billion the US is considering pumping into domestic chip manufacturing. And meanwhile, South Korea is planning to spend $450 billion on semiconductors over the next decade. So we will be able to buy GPUs again, eventually, as long as... They're in an Apple computer. <laughs> yeah, as long as Apple's making it. And now a message from a previous Riley. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Brilliant, the website and app that makes learning accessible and fun. And I know it's hard to put learning and fun in the same box in your silly human brain, but think about video games. You learn things while playing, and it's fun! This is like that. With Brilliant, you solve problems and play around with visual concepts. There's no harsh grading, long lectures, or strict time limits, and you can learn about anything. There's over 60 different courses you can master, from quantum computing to math fundamentals. The first 200 people to click our link get 20% off, so join Brilliant and its community of 8 million learners and educators at brilliant.org slash tech. The Quick Bits
Quickbits chose me. I am the Quickbits man! SpaceX has announced a deal with Google to install Starlink base stations in Google data centers, which is expected to help businesses reach the tech giant's cloud services from rural and regional parts of the planet, because normally, all those people have access to uh, regular clouds. I'm, I'm so sorry. SpaceX, that'd be scary. Oh, dang. Why would that be scary? Google keeps all of our data safe, so I don't have to worry about it. Colonial, the massive pipeline company that was hacked into shutting down half their network, were able to regain system control after paying the $5 million ransom demanded by the hackers. Ransomware attacks, particularly based on common phishing techniques, are becoming more common and more impactful. Yesterday, large parts of Ireland's healthcare system were just shut down by hackers. Please, talk to the people in your life about the importance of not pressing the big red button that says free money in that email. It's not free money. It's pain. I thought it was a pot of gold. <laughs> was that Irish? <laughs> oh, I got an email for a free pot of gold. Ask me, lucky time. <laughs> Sorry, Ireland. Amazon has removed the vast majority of products from popular accessory maker Aki. Oki? I don't know. I never know how to say it. Because according to Amazon, they were paying for fake reviews. It seems like that's true, but couldn't someone also speculate that Amazon is just about to release a bunch of Aki knockoffs and that's also why they did this? You heard it here first, based on nothing. John Prosser over at Front Page Tech has once again released renders of an unannounced device, this time the Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. And I hope he's wrong about what they'll look like because yeesh, that is an ugly camera bump. Or it looks really cool. I, I don't, I can never tell. Prosser also showed renders of Apple's rumored M2 or whatever powered MacBook Pro that's supposed to come later this year. So there, there that might be what they look like or, or not. And Intel Labs has shown off a machine learning technique that makes GTA 5 look even more realistic than it already does. As far as I can tell, they changed first person vehicle gameplay so that it looks like footage from a shitty webcam. And I, I guess, yeah, it looks like a realistic cloudy day in 480p. It's, it's the future of gaming. <laughs> It does actually look real. Have you seen it? Of course Hella you haven't. Tight. Hella tight, dude. Wait, what, did I, did I say that? Did I write that? You know, oh, I did. You know what would be hella tight? <laughs> if you came back on Monday for more tech news. Man, <laughs> that'd be so poppin' fresh.